टुडे वी विल आल्सो बी डूइंग सम रिवीजन पार्ट एज वेल तो हां सो जस्ट टू एनहांस योर कांसेप्ट्स एंड टू रिवाइज द थिंग्स दैट वी हैव स्टडीड द प्रीवियस डेज एंड द थिंग सो just now what i will be giving you some uh questions and uh, some conceptual questions we will start uh, from uh, i will give you basics of uh, this textile chemical processing uh mm. chemical processing we will uh, start with so uh, then we will be doing questions as well so in chemical processing we read about the pre treatment pre treatment processes yeah. i think there is so much noise you can mute yourself uh ha huh. so in pre treatment process uh, we studied about the singeing singeing here the protruding fibers are eliminated uh, are removed by the help of uh, gas singeing the types of singing uh, plate singing and uh, the things we studied then it comes to desizing but uh, desize in desizing what happens the size is removed uh, means the starch that we did uh, the sizing process that we did in the weaving aspect is removed so the fabric becomes uh, much more uh, uh, moisture absorbent and water absorbent uh, so that it can further be dyed and printed thereafter then is scouring is scouring fats and waxes are removed here uh, then bleaching bleaching is done to make the fabric more white and uh, then after bleaching fabric goes into dyeing part and in dyeing there are uh, two three types of dyeing fiber dyeing then the fabric dyeing the yarn dyeing is also fabric dyeing is the most important uh, dyeing Uh, generally seen in majority of the cases in fabric dyeing there are two three types of dyeing machine jet dyeing machine jigger dyeing machine so, so it, in jet dyeing machines what happens it it is a closed dyeing machine and uh, material to liquor ratio should be made of around 1 is to 20 or so on in jigger what happens is the fabric is passed through a open uh, type of uh, and uh, open jigger and pass from color and in this way the fabric is uh, dyed and is further proceeded after the dyeing what happens is uh, the printing is done how printing is done printing is uh, done by mechanisms if i talk about uh, it's then there are uh, block printing roller printing screen printing and uh, tie and dye printing and uh, other uh, printings uh, pigment printing is also there uh, inkjet printing is also there and uh, if i talk about this uh, transfer printing is very transfer printing many of the times asked this type of printing uh, how this printing transfer printing is done on dispersed dyes dispersed dyes what are dispersed dyes dispersed dyes are hydrophobic kinds of dyes these are basically applied on to the polyester fabric polyester fabric so uh, what uh, if i talk something about polyester so uh, if i talk to polyester some properties about polyester is polyester is as a least moisture reagent if i talk in general times so it is the most hydrophobic fiber that we studied in all synthetic fibers what are synthetic fibers if we talk about synthetic fibers synthetic uh, fibers or fabrics are that are manufactured artificially artificially means by the help of a spinning mechanism it's so, a uh, wet spinning and melt spinning so wet spinning dry spinning these are solution spinning these are manufactured synthetic fibers are manufactured by these this uh, spinning methods either by wet spinning dry spinning or melt spinning if i talk about melt spinning 
then melt in by melt spinning nylon and uh, you know, some polyester is basically used for this and if i talk about dry jet dry and wet spinning acrylic uh, and other types of fibers are many by these types of fibers. so transfer printing in transfer printing if i talk about in transfer printing what happens is he uh, first there is a paper the design is first printed on a paper uh, and uh, the paper is not a normal paper the paper is such that if uh, we put some uh, uh, design onto the paper the the engravings or the design is fully printed on the on the paper and then that paper is engraved onto the textile fabric then entire t-shirt or uh, uh, things like that are uh, the design is copied onto that uh, fabric as well type this transfer printing and the roller printing the advantages of roller printing is the speed is very high the speed is uh, high in case of roller printing block printing is the very oldest kind of print which blocks uh, as we have seen in a stamp uh, uh, stamp uh, this type of blocks are used for printing this is a very traditional type of print this is now not used nowadays uh, 